guys. How are you? Hi. Raise your hand if you have any idea who's here today. Natalie, who's here today? Mr. Brian and Mr. Fisher. <laughs> the barefoot guy. <laughs> oh, sir. Oh, sir, just here. Let's get them around the floor. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Aren't you all it's very well behaved class? My name is Chris Fisher, and how cool is your teacher? She got us to come in and talk to you guys. Huh? Yeah. Well, so, does anybody know why we catch the sharks? Um, because you have to know what, like, what's wrong with it. We have to understand their lives to protect their future, right? Mm -hmm. Does anybody in here know why sharks are important? What do they help us do in the ocean? Sharks. They kill mammals. Well, yeah, they do. Shark, <laughs> sharks are the balance keepers of the ocean. Sharks are like the lion of the ocean. So we need to make sure they have a healthy future so that the ocean has a healthy future. We work with some of the best scientists in the world trying to give them a chance to get their hands on these big sharks so they can learn about their lives. And we have this special ship that takes us around the earth. This is called the O-Search. Do you see, here's the guys, here's the ship in the bathroom, here's the big sharks we catch. So we have time for a couple of questions. Why do you name them? Why and why do we name the sharks? To give them an identity so you can know when you track them, you can see if you, like Mary Lee, if we didn't give it a name, it would just be a shark. So it's just be like any other shark now. You give them an identity and you know which one you're looking for. It's easier for you to find them on the tracker. Have you ever got to name one one? I named a couple of sharks. I named one after my mother and one after my brother. What is your favorite shark and why? Well, my favorite shark has to be Mary Lee because it's named after my mom. Oh. Hmm, I th okay, we're going to end up taking all these questions. I can tell I'm a sucker like that. <laughs> okay, what happened? Wait, wait. How many sharks have you tagged? How many sharks have we tagged? So we've tagged about 100 sharks. We've tagged about 70 great white sharks. So uh, lots of different types. Have you ever had a shark die? We have had a shark die. We had a shark in Africa die, a small shark. Uh, one of the things we always ask ourselves, you know, is what are we trying to learn? What is it worth to learn it? And I think this is a great question. You know, we're out trying to do something that's never been done before. And of all the sharks we've worked with, we had one small shark that didn't make it. And that shark ended up to have some other health issues when they analyzed the blood, some other problems that shark was having. But the point was, we all had to sit down and have a grown-up discussion and say, what are we trying to learn? Is what we're learning worth it if we're going to have the odd shark have a problem? What harm no, first comes first to the check. shark when the tag here. is attached? Oh, very, very little. It's kind of like when people get their ears pierced and it's just a little, little hole that you make. It's mostly cartilage there, so they don't feel them very much. And also, sharks are, sharks are really tough. They, just throughout their daily life, they bite each other sometimes when they're feeding or during mating. So the tagging process is really, it's nothing compared to what they go through in most of their daily, daily life. OK, this is the last question in the blue. What is, what is the purpose of doing all this investigation? The purpose of, do wow, that's a very grown-up question. The purpose of doing all this investigation is to solve the puzzle of the white shark's life. Find out where the sharks are breeding, where they're giving birth, so we can affect the way we manage the ocean to make sure they have a bright future so that you get to see them when you're grown up and your kids' kids do. And why do we need to make sure there's lots of sharks in the ocean? Because they are... The balance keepers. They are the lion of the ocean, the great balance keepers. So we need lots of sharks in the ocean if there's going to be lots of fish in the ocean. Okay, thank you all for having us. If you want to take any pictures, we can all take pictures. Go ask the guys any questions. We'll stick around for a few more minutes. Yeah. Take your turn picking one. Pick one, get out of the way. They're all the same. I don't know what to name him. I'm going to name it after me. I think I might name it... Uh, uh, James, yeah, James. Oh, I know my short name. Lion. Lion.
my shark. My shark's name is uh, Maddie. <laughs> I'm going to make a name uh, my shark Truthy because my name is Truthy. My name's Maddie. My name's Martha. Jory Lee. This is Mary Lee. Josh. Oh, yeah. My shark's Bob. I'm going to My Astro. shark's Barefoot. My shark isn't. It's Bob. Bob. My shark doesn't even have a Bob the shark. Yes, Bob the shark. Bob. Mine's Little Richie. I want Captain Barefoot to sign my shirt. The Barefoot guy. I want Captain Barefoot to sign my shirt. Thanks, Captain Barefoot. You're welcome, sir. <laughs> I keep seeing uh, Captain Barefoot on all these. Uh, on the Barefoot all these, guy. <laughs> the the bare, in quotations, and now you got a new nickname. Oh, good job, Captain Barefoot. You're such a good shark wrangler. Isn't <laughs> that funny? You want me to draw a tag for you? I'll put a tag right on the top of the dorsal fin. Sharks rock. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. Yeah. Say that's a wrap. Huh? Good. Why does he have to make a line? What? Say that's, that's a wrap. Ow! That's a wrap. Oh, that's a wrap. Oh, that's a wrap. <laughs> can I do it? Can I try? I want to try. Can I try? Daddy, 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 Daddy. One more and then we got to go. Can I try? I want to try. I no, Why are you skipping me? Say that's a wrap. I never got to try. Three, two, one.